What happens when a major cryptocurrency exchange challenges the Securities and Exchange Commission? Picture this. It's 2024, and Coinbase, the United States' largest cryptocurrency exchange, is engaged in a battle of wills with the mighty SEC. This isn't just a casual disagreement. It's a full-blown legal conflict unfolding across multiple fronts. In one courtroom, Coinbase is defending itself against allegations of violating securities rules. In another, the tables are turned. It's the SEC that's being accused of overstepping its legal boundaries. The heart of the matter? Coinbase is urging the court to compel the SEC to establish rules specifically for the digital asset industry. This request comes after the SEC denied the company's initial petition to do so. This isn't a new argument. For years, the industry has been calling for clear guidelines. An amicus brief filed in support of the case describes the current situation as an unworkable regulatory black hole, one that doesn't offer a clear path to compliance for the digital asset industry. Coinbase argues that the SEC's history of regulating the industry through enforcement, rather than clear rules, fails to provide what's known as fair notice. Simply put, Fair notice means having clear rules and a reasonable chance to comply with them. Coinbase's case against the SEC is bolstered by several amicus briefs, filed by industry groups like the Digital Chamber of Commerce, the Satoshi Action Fund, and the Texas Blockchain Council. These documents support Coinbase's assertion that the SEC's approach towards regulation is inconsistent and confusing. Now, if Coinbase wins its appeal in the Third Circuit based on the Administrative Procedures Act, it could strengthen its fair notice defense in the securities violations case. This could also assist other crypto exchanges like Binance and Kraken, who are launching similar defenses. However, if Coinbase loses the appeal, it'll have another chance to defend its position through a different case. The crux of Coinbase's argument in this case is that the SEC failed to establish clear guidelines on which digital assets are considered securities before filing lawsuits. On the other side of the fence, SEC Chair Gary Gensler stated in December that he was pleased to support the decision to deny the rulemaking petition. He argues that existing rules apply to crypto, the SEC does address crypto markets through rulemaking, and the agency should be able to set its own priorities. John Reed Stark, a former SEC enforcement lawyer, calls the fair notice argument plain foolish. He points out that this defense was resoundingly rejected in previous cases involving LBRI, Ripple, and Terra. As we wait for the SEC's opposition briefing, due May 10th if their extension request is granted, we're left to ponder the implications of this legal tug of war. This isn't just about Coinbase or the SEC, it's about the future of the digital asset industry. How this battle unfolds could shape the path for crypto regulation for years to come. In conclusion, the Coinbase versus SEC saga is a complex, multifaceted legal battle. At its core, it's a fight for clarity and fairness in the regulation of digital assets. Whether you're invested in crypto or not, the outcome of this case will likely have far-reaching implications. For now, we watch, we wait, and we wonder, what will the next chapter of this legal drama bring?